Hey guys. So, can you see me? Hey guys, so can you see me? Um, anyway, so <laughs> I'm talking about in 900 feet, turn left. Yep, that's what I'm doing. I'm talking about, um, you know, how Lady Gaga was really influential with the song Just Dance because um, people, I don't know, like, if you think about it, turn left and arrive at your destination. No one in pop music was talking about getting fucked up or like liquor or like naming. Turn right onto Cornell Drive. We just didn't have that. Right like before the song Just Dance featuring Colby O'Donis, although I have no idea where the fuck his vocals are turn in that right song. Shut the fuck up, Siri. I have no idea where Colby O'Donis' vocals are. At a quarter mile, turn right onto East Avenue. But that's not the point. The point is, no one was talking about getting fucked up, like, as frankly. They might have been saying, yeah, we're gonna have a good time, shut it, shake that ass. But, maybe it was implied, whatever, but like, this bitch came out on the song and was saying, I've had a little bit too much. I mean, if we're gonna talk about proto, like, the prototype, maybe, like, the first person who... I've never heard a chick talk about that on a pop song, really, and someone who's considered as a pop star would be... My idol, Mariah Carey. Um, you know, I, it's like that from 2005, featuring Fat Man Scoop and Jermaine Dupri, where she was like, "I came to have a party, open off the Bacardi, purple taking me higher." But no one except music critics really paid any fucking mind to that, or like really gave a shit. Um, but for some reason, like when Lady Gaga came out with Just Dance in 2008, um. You know, that song inspired countless fucking, like, basically carbon copies or, like, so many songs were made since that was made in that vein. Like, every, like, it's almost prerequisite now that, like, a pop dance song, if it's talking about partying, you can't just be saying we're gonna have a good time unless you're on that, like, Pharrell, like, new, um, like, sort of new old school thing with like um Daft Punk and Pharrell and um Uptown Funk and like that song Sugar by Maroon 5 um but like just like it's all about actually like pop stars are getting in the trenches and and like actually saying I'm popping bottles that you can't even afford and like (laughs) it just wasn't like that when I was like preteen not that no I love it I love club bangers and stuff but it's just it's a trip so anyway I'm gonna stop recording right now Turn right onto East Avenue, then turn right onto Scott Road. I don't know where East Avenue is, honey, but... (laughs) Honey, do not say the word fucking cheeseburger. I just got from the gym. They were playing Top Chef on, on the television. And, um... Turn left onto North San Fernando Boulevard. Yep. San Fernando. Um, so, yeah, they were playing Top Chef, and it's just fucking ridiculous because, um, you know, that show, like, it's more about making pieces of art versus, like, s- food that you're gonna eat because, like, they have, like, three or four bites of food on, like, these tiny-ass plates with, like, draped onions on them, and, like, it's all about the fucking presentation and these fucking... I'm, like, starving my ass off on the fucking elliptical. Like, my body's telling me that I'm starving. I'm not really starving. Um, In half a mile, turn right. And I'm just seeing these people, and they're like, you know, if I was sitting there, I'm so hungry right now, I would just be, like, shoveling fucking food in my face. Like, and they're, like, nitpicking and, like, talking about it. Obviously, they're connoisseurs, but it's just so fucking, like, ridiculous. They're just like, you know, the dry peppery oak aftertaste. Um was kind of lost in your um, presentation. I preferred the way the other um, chef did it. Or, like, they're just so fucking, like, ridiculous about it. When, like, I'm sitting there, I'm literally thinking about, like, spoonfuls of mayonnaise going into my mouth. And, like, being a fucking fat fuck. And, like, I'm not thinking about the fucking, like, presentation or, like, bullshit. Or, like, just the typical, like, the garnish where they have 
like one leaf of lettuce or like one piece of basil on top of like the fucking um, salmon and like that's enough and whatever. I mean, it's just, it's just to look, it's like they're doing a food photo shoot basically. They never take more than a few bites and like everyone has like a half full glass of white wine that they like Turn right never and touch. Right at your destination. Half full glass of white wine that they never touch in case you missed that. And um, it's just ridiculous. And I'm on the fucking elliptical, fucking starving. But anyway, <laughs> so yeah, talking about Lady Gaga and Just Dance and, um, you know. Arrived at CVS Pharmacy. The whole talking about liquor and pop songs, not really a big deal, but, you know, a lot of people don't want to give any pop star any fucking credit because it's all vapid and stupid and whatever. It became, in many people's eyes, arguably a little bit more vapid and stupid once this whole, like, we're gonna dance until we fucking die and drink until we fucking die. We've all got tonight. It's like apocalyptic dance pop, like countless songs with that theme. Um, but whatever. I, it was. I started this rant because I heard this really like I don't know this new song by Usher that's almost like a caricature. I'm not not really a fan right now. Maybe you know if I was in a different state of mind, I might be, but. It's like either DJ Mustard or a DJ Mustard like sound alike because like almost every producer in hip hop these days has to have like some side, sort of at least have a couple a couple tracks that are DJ Mustard sound alikes. So whatever, it's this new um, Usher track where he's like, "You don't have to dance on the pole," or like, no, he's just telling this chick how he doesn't care that she dances that she's a stripper because as long as she's coming home to him, it's, that's all that matters, and like, it's just like so over the top, and it feels like really like, I don't know. I don't know why I'm so reacting to this, because it's basically the same thing as what Beyonce did, like when she also like turned up the ratchet knob, like a few clicks when she released her self-titled album, Beyonce, with, you know, everyone knows, Drunk in Love and um, all the other songs on there. I have that whole album. It's great. Um, but something about this Usher song just really I don't know. It just felt like a caricature. A little bit much. Like I don't know. Maybe I think girls get a pass with it or something. But it just felt really awkward. But that's basically what he has to do. But I'm not approved by any sense of the Matter matter of fact, I love My Neck, My Back by Kaya, so <laughs> definitely not a prude as far as rap music goes. But, you know, these are my thoughts, and, um, you know, I've never done one of these fucking vlog driving things, so toodles.